Okay, so the next step is we need to set up the Arduino Uno, which looks like this, um, which is what controls the conveyor belt that dispenses the food in Smarta. So if you bought an Arduino Uno, um, it should look just like this. And the way you program it is with one of these wires. It plugs right in here, and then it plugs into your computer. And we'll show you how to program it um, in a moment. The other thing that you need is a motor shield for the Arduino. It looks like this. As of the time of this video, this is the latest version. Um, it's a very popular version of the motor shield. This is uh, the Adafruit motor shield version 2.3. Depending on the one that you, that you buy, it might already have all of these pins attached on the edge, um, or you might have to solder them on yourself. Uh, the one that I got, I had to solder these on myself. Um, it's really not that hard. You could, If you've soldered it all, it's a piece of cake. Um, so once you have this all soldered and ready to go, uh, first thing we need to do is program our Arduino with the Smarto software. Alright, so we have our Arduino Uno, and uh, we're going to program it in a moment. Let's just plug it into our computer. So we plug uh, this kind of square USB end in here, and the other end just gets plugged into your computer, pushed into any USB port. Now we're just going to put it on our desk for a moment while we download the Arduino software. So in the Smarta GitHub, where you can get all the software from, there's a couple different important things. The first is this folder called Smarta Arduino um, Adafruit. Motor Shield. This is the version of the Arduino software that works with the Adafruit Motor Shield um, that I showed you just a moment ago. So download that, as well as in the Arduino Libs folder, there is a library you need called Adafruit Motor Shield. You might notice there's another one in here called Make Motor Shield V1.1. That's for an older Motor Shield. If you have one of those, feel free to use that. But for this video, we're using the Adafruit Motor Shield, so download that as well. Now, I've already pre-downloaded these, and let me show you where they go. So, here's all the stuff that's on the Git, uh, that's on GitHub. I'm going to copy from inside the Arduino Libs folder, the Arduino, uh, the Adafruit Motor Shield folder. I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to put it in my Arduino Libraries folder. And I'm going to take the Smarta Arduino Motor Shield project, and just put that wherever you like. I already have a copy of it on my computer. And we're going to open up Arduino, the Arduino editor. And I'm just going to open the Smarta Arduino Adafruit Motor Shield project. And it should look like this. If, you don't, if you've never used Arduino before, you'll need to install this Arduino software on your computer. Um, just Google Arduino download and you can get it. So the program is actually really, really short. As you can see, it's like maybe just a page or two of programming stuff. Uh, the one part you'll probably want to modify at some point is how long the motor runs. So when it dispenses uh, raisin or whatever you put on the conveyor belt, um, the duration that the conveyor belt stays on is going to control how far the cup moves. So you know, depending on the specific cups that you use, exactly how you position the conveyor belt on your, inside your Smarta, you're probably going to need to adjust a couple timing values in here. Those are the ones that say delay. So you can see, like there's this section here that uh, advances one cup at a time. Uh, for that one, you know, this, it's using this delay, which is, a, you know, in milliseconds. Uh, in this section here, it's when you want to reverse one cup's worth, and there's a delay for that. And then in the third section here, there's a delay for kind of rewinding the conveyor belt all the way, so seven cups worth of rewind. And so these are the numbers that we've used in past Smartas, but probably you're going to need to adjust these a little bit depending on your particular conveyor belt. Um, so if you need to make any adjustments, this is where you'll do it. Uh, for now, just use this default program just to get things working, and then you can come adjust it later. So we have our Arduino plugged in. Let's make sure that Arduino, the software, is connected to the right port. So if you go to the Tools menu, make sure that the board says Arduino Uno. Mine does. And then under Port, pick wherever your Arduino Uno is connected. And it, it, it might be COM3 like I have here. It might be something else on your computer. OK. And we just hit the Upload button, which looks like a little arrow at the top. And if we watch on the bottom of the screen down here, you'll see it compiles things, and it uploads it to the Arduino. And once it's done, it says done uploading. Okay, so now our software is on our Arduino, and we can disconnect it from the computer. 
Okay, so now that we have the Smarta Arduino software installed, we're going to put the motor shield on top of the Arduino. And so it just, it just plugs on top. If you're familiar with Arduino, you basically just line these pins up and it slides in kind of like a little puzzle piece. Just kind of slides in like so. Makes a little sandwich. Okay. All right. Now we want to connect our motor. So uh, we have soldered the wires onto the motor and it's going to be motor one. So this motor shield is actually capable of controlling up to four motors. We're just going to use it to control this one. Actually, there's a benefit to that because normally you'd need to have a whole, a whole separate battery pack just for the motors. But since we're just controlling this one tiny motor, uh, the single battery pack for all of Smarta will power everything. It'll power the Arduino, it'll power the motor, and it makes our lives a lot easier. Um, in order to get that to work so that it shares power between the Arduino and the motors, you need to put, uh, you need to put this little plastic cover, this little jumper, onto the pins that say V in. So you put this jumper on here, and that turns that on, and that says use the same power for the Arduino and the motors. Uh, you know, if you read about it online, you might see lots of warnings about that, but for our purposes, it's just this one tiny motor, and that's actually a good thing. We just want to power the motor from the regular battery pack. Um, so we're going to connect it to M1, which means motor 1, and that's the first two little screws here. Okay? Just kind of insert it into these little clips. The first two, that's motor 1 where you connect it, and then they just get screwed in to connect it permanently. I should say to connect it securely, because you could always unscrew it later. So what we're going to do here is we really just want to test and see if when we use the Smarta app on the phone and the tablet, if it will make this motor spin. Um, okay, so the motor, motor is not actually labeled with positive and negative. So once we get all of Smarta assembled, we have, like, we have the conveyor belt set up and everything, uh, we'll do a run of it and we'll see, you know, is the conveyor moving in the right direction? Uh, if it's not, it's just as simple, honestly, as unscrewing these two screws and swapping the which wire is plugged in where, and it's not going to hurt anything. You could turn the motor either way and it will be fine. So for now, we're just going to plug it in whichever way. We just want to see if it will spin when we use uh, the Smarta app. So here's the rest of the things we need to connect, okay? First, we need to get the Arduino to communicate with the tablet, and let's talk through how that works, okay? So. You should have purchased one of these little boards. Um, it's often from a company called FTDI, uh, but what it is is it's a USB to serial converter. And it lets uh, the Arduino, which talks on the serial connection, to the tablet, which can communicate on USB. So you'll notice there's a little USB plug on one side, and on the other side we have all these little pins where we can connect wires. These wires are, where are going to connect to the Arduino and let it talk to the tablet. So here's where the wires connect. And so I, you need four wires, so you want to just get some female to female jumper wires, um, connect them to, uh, and, and the, the particular model of this board that you have might have like a slightly different pin setup than the one that I have here, but you should see one that says either power or VCC. That usually you want to plug a red wire in there, so you know that's power. Uh, there'll be one that says ground, and there'll be one that says receive, and one that says send. Usually that's abbreviated RX for receive, and TX for transmit or send. Um, I've actually just put a couple pieces of tape on the transmit and receive wires so I could tell them apart a little bit more easily. Now, uh, the way this is set up is the Arduino software that you installed that we wrote for Smarta um, uses pin 9 to receive and pin 5 to transmit. And if we look on the motor shield here, you can see pin 9 is labeled 9 right there. It's on the top. And pin 5 is labeled 5 over here. So again, 9 is going to be receive, and 5 is going to be transmit. Here's where things get a little bit funny. So on this USB converter board, um, it's actually labeled from the perspective of the tablet. So the tablet, uh, what the tablet receives, receives is labeled RX on this board, and what the tablet transmits is, is labeled TX. Um, we actually want to connect the transmit from the Arduino to the receive on this board, and uh, this, the opposite for the other one as well. Um, I mean, you're not going to hurt anything if you get it backwards. They just won't communicate with each other. So uh, here's what it means for us. So we want to take uh, pin 9 and connect that like so, pin 5. And then I always like to use red for power just so it's very easy to see which one has power. That's the only one that can really 
break things, so make sure you keep that one clear. And then I used this gray for ground. Okay, so in my case, uh, you know, the white wire here, uh, which is on pin 9, is the receive. Uh, black, which is on 5, is transmit. And then I've connected those to the opposites on the board here, and then power and ground. And now this is ready to communicate with the tablet. So to get this plugged into the tablet, we need to use one of these little, um, it's called a USB on-the-go connector. What it does is it takes this micro USB connection, which most Android tablets use for charging, and it just plugs right into it, and it turns it into a regular USB connection like that. So we can connect um, this USB wire into it. These are all on the parts list, so if you just order these, you'll be okay. And now we have um, a mini USB connection uh, that we can plug into this board. Okay, so we're going to do that in a second, but before we do it, there's one last thing we need to do, which is connect it to power. So, I have a little battery pack. I like these battery packs from Voltaic because they will stay on once you turn them on. Um, if you get the same ones as these, you just hold the power button for six seconds until you see the lights flash three times, like that. And now the battery pack will stay on until I turn it off by holding the button again. Um, most charging USB packs, like if you buy it for your cell phone or whatever, they turn off after you stop using power. And that could be a problem if you're using Smarta because maybe the animal's not touching it for a while, maybe you're in between sessions, and you don't want the battery pack to just shut off on you because the conveyor belt's just gonna randomly seem like it's broken. So this, this, this type stays on. If you can find another one that stays on, feel free to use any brand you want. But let's go ahead and plug in. So what we've got is our power plug from our Arduino. It's the same as the one that we used to program it. And we're gonna plug it into our battery pack. Okay. And you can see everything lit up, right? So the, this is the USB to serial converter, as well as the, uh, there's a little green light on the motor shield, but all kinds of lights came on, just letting us know that the battery pack is doing its job. All right, so we wanna do a test now. We wanna see if when we use Smarta on the tablet, we can get this motor to move. That'll just tell us that the Arduino software is working and that it's able to communicate on this USB connection. So I'm going to first just turn the tablet on. And I'm not gonna start the, Smarta software yet. Just going to get things going here. Okay. I'm going to plug this into the USB converter. And, uh, you know, depending on the particular tablet you have, this tablet actually notices when you have a USB connection and it offers to start the last app that you used with that. So it's actually offering to start Smarta. So I just say, okay. So we have Smarta running on the tablet. Remember, we always want to start it on the tablet first. And then I'm going to start Smarta on the phone. And they will get connected, since we previously set this up. Okay, so you can see that the tablet screen is now black, which is what it does when they get connected. And this is asking me which animal. So to test the motor, um, rather than do a training session or something more complicated, there's actually in this dot, dot, dot menu, there's a force dispense and a force rewind. Um, it kind of just lets you basically force the Smarta apparatus to dispense a single piece of food or rewind one step um, without having to go, go to training or pretend that you're you know, working with an animal and maybe you're not. So I'm just gonna force dispense and we wanna see if, we, if this motor is gonna rotate for us. Okay, uh, you might be able to hear it on the recording. Uh, but I'll, I'll do a rewind. So this motor is vibrating and I can feel the, I can feel that it's spinning. So that tells me that a lot of things have been successful. It means that the, the Arduino software is installed uh, the motor shield is connected correctly and it has the power set properly. It means that these four wires are connected to the right pins and it means that the tablet is able to communicate to everything. So at this point we basically have the heart of Smarta fully working. So the rest of the video is going to be about uh, constructing the conveyor belt and the enclosure and kind of just getting it all um, connected.